event of the evening. It is sanctioned by the board of directors of the National Wrestling Alliance and will be contested for the Wild Side Tag Team Championships. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, they are your challengers at a total combined weight of 434 pounds. They are from the middle of nowhere at St. Michael's Cathedral, the team of the Archangel Gabriel and Altar Boy Luke. And ladies and gentlemen, their opponents, they are the reigning NWA Wild Side Tag Team Champions from San Antonio and Waco, Texas, the team of Todd Sexton and Masada, the Texas Death Club. One of the toughest tests of metal indeed await the Texas Death Club as their wild side tag team titles hang in the balance against the team that we are kind of a Colloquially referred to as the God Squad. Alter Boy Luke and the Archangel Gabriel. And with Freedom Fight looming in the very near future. Actually, it's just a couple of weeks away. And the fact that these all of these, all of these teams will be involved in war games. Yes, indeed, they will. And that is also probably uh, something they have to look forward to. And I look forward to using use that term in quotes in the near future because you know that's going to be an awful lot of pain are you able to be able to focus on the events at hand namely this wild side tag team championship match when you know in a few weeks your career will probably end it's very true steve how can you have that on your mind and still go into this matchup with good faith as you know it will be the team of alter boy luke and the archangel gabriel teaming with slim J and murder one they're going to be taking on the texas death club with their tag team partners in the steel cage NWA Elite members Rain Man and Azrael. And this is the last meeting between any of the factions before the War Games matchup. There's a lot on the mind of each man in this ring. And I don't think it's necessarily on the tag team titles. Unfortunately, where it should be a title match of this magnitude. But when the most dangerous match in professional wrestling is looming on the horizon when you step in the ring with seven other men and it's blood, guts, submission only. Submit or surrender. It will end careers. It will destroy lives. It is the most barbaric structure in all of wrestling. It is the original score set. It is the War Games. And the War Games is set to be your main event as it is every year for a Freedom Fight. Freedom Fight 2004, although we tape many of these shows in advance. I believe at this stage in the game, Freedom Fight 2004 should be available on Wild Side Home Video. And although obviously we haven't experienced it yet, I'll bet you it is the proverbial barn burner of an event. And there you see Masada and Alter Boy Luke in the ring. Masada riding Luke amateur style is really overpowering you, Mayor. I don't think you want to try to match brute strength and pure aggression with Masada, one of the nastiest and, and, and most brutal individuals I've ever met. That is, let's talk about the things that Alter Boy Luke, as a professional wrestler, brings to the ring. Because, I mean, he has, he has uh, obviously a lot of ring savvy and a lot of moves that, quite frankly, come at some bizarre times. Look at that, a, a cartwheel in this wrenching the head of Masada and trying to take it off of it. It's, uh, out of its base there, but Masada though returning in kind with a drop kick. I mean, Alter Boy Luke is just, he's just um, a marvel of some of the most unusual moves at some of the most unusual times of this matchup. One of the most unpredictable athletes I think we've ever seen here, ever. Snapmare takeover, there's a pair of drop kicks for Masada. It's a team of Gabriel and Alter Boy Luke and they've been down the road together. These two have been in the ring tag teaming for quite a while now in Wildside, and they've been a part of some very, very interesting scenarios. And wouldn't it be a high of major proportions if Alter Boy Luke and Gabriel can enter the war games as Wildside tag team champions? Oh, it would be a huge psychological blow 
to the team of the TDC and the NWA Elite, it'd be an enormous psychological blow. They're going into this matchup with confidence as champions. They're not even worried about this match tonight. And that's what I talked about earlier, and that's why it's dangerous. It's dangerous for all four men because their minds are not here. You know, with the war games on the horizon, that is where their brain is at. And they've got to somehow get through this matchup tonight to get there. And the tag team titles are on the line. The tag titles are on the line when all of this comes to play. And interestingly, these folks just might not be thinking about tag team titles at this time. It's, it's a rather unique situation when the tag titles, obviously, is the ultimate prize in any tag team's book to be recognized as the very best in your league. And both of these tag teams are at the, certainly at the moment at the top of their craft. There's no, no denying that. And what does the Masada have in mind here? Whatever it is, it's not good news for Altimore Luke. Luke responds to Cotton with a series of elbows. Luke going for a whisper in the wind there. It was nobody. A, a beautiful thing to behold and it's in its grace and its poetic beauty, but how he landed on Prickly on his head. Yeah, you don't land on an opponent there. There's not a lot of good that move does to you, no matter how good looking it is. Texas Death Club cutting the ring in half as a true tag team. Wild side tag team champions showing why they have earned that title and they have defended that title over and over again. Oh, unbeknownst to, uh, to, uh, the team of the Archangel, Gabriel, and certainly Altibar Luke. But at the top of the NWA ramp is Jeff G. Bailey and the Soul Assassin Rain, man. Hey, also an Azrael looming in the distance. This is beginning to add a different complexion to this tag team championship matchup. Uh, Gabriel is now aware of the NWA Elite's appearance here. Todd Sexton, two unsuccessful attempts at a sharpshooter on to Alter Boy Luke. Now he locks the third one in, yeah. making sure that Luke is going nowhere. Yeah, now we see Rain Man, Azrael, and Jeff G. Bailey. Can't he just stay backstage and watch the monitors like everybody else? I guess not. Just get him the absolute hell away from here. And Masada putting some boots to the head of the altar boy Luke. Luke is in desperate need of tagging the Archangel Gabriel. He's in the right corner, but pretty, apparently unaware of his, of his ring positioning. Both Sexton and altar boy Luke are down, both trying to gather the wits they may have left. As Gabriel, well, oh, he's itching, foaming at the mouth for a successful tag, and he's got it. The fresh Gabriel. Throwing an elbow away at Masada. Sexy goes for the super kick there. Gabriel counters. Nice back suplex there. Thunder suplex. Sexton's body is bouncing off the mat. And another beautiful back suplex by Gabriel. Pin attempt from Gabriel, but unfortunately, Masada is able to kick on out with still considerable authority. The Wait a minute. Still Masada's got Gabriel. Looks like he was going for the Masada miser there. Gabriel able to escape. And wow, look at this number that he's doing single-handedly on the wild side tag team champions. Followed up with a simple shove, two-headed shove on Masada. Pin attempt, only a two count, as Sexton was still in the ring and easily able to thwart that pin attempt. Rain Man and Azrael make it inching their way up closer to the ring. That's a little too close for anybody's comfort. As Gabriel heading up to the northwestern corner of the ring, top turnbuckle, and was shaken loose by Masada. And Altamar Luke has seen enough. Referee Andrew Thomas is beginning to lose control of this matchup. Well, Masada flies over the top rope. Hot shot to the top there, wait a minute. And it's a halo! Well, Andrew Thomas calling Sexton as the illegal man, saying the pinfall could not happen. Andrew Thomas is, in fact, correct. 
Oh, wait a minute. We're coming to blows on the outside. That's Myrtle, what a Slim J duking it out with Rain Man and Azrael. There's the angelic jam on. No. And Jeff G. Bailey pulling the ref's legs out from the bottom rope. Thomas looks genuinely surprised, but he's disqualified. On behalf of Bailey, is Thomas showing some authoritative power here? It was Bailey's interference that cost the Texas Death Club. It is truly breaking down here. Ladies in the and gentlemen, Arena. Andrew Thomas has disqualified the Texas Death Club for outside interference. Therefore, your winners by disqualification, Alter Boy Luke and the Archangel Gabriel. It's a disqualification victory, which means the belts do not change hands. But now we have these four tag teams just going literally hog wild on each other. Slim J getting out of the way of the charging feet of Azrael. Quite lucky. And Murder One and Slim J, Ultra Boy Luke and Gabriel standing tall in this ring. They've cleaned house. The War Games teams are at odds here. And they are going to meet in the match beyond. The most dangerous match in wrestling. These eight men, whoa, whoa. they will Ladies lock and gentlemen, horns. ladies and gentlemen, by our count, this is the second time that the Archangel Gabriel and Alter Boy Luke haven't had a chance to go after the Tag Team Championships here in NWA Wildside. Well, they're going to get one more shot, and it's going to happen on Saturday night, July the 3rd, inside the Steel Cage of War Games. If either Todd Sexton or Masada submits or surrenders in that matchup, we will crown new tag team champions at Freedom Fight. Freedom Fight 2004 War Games. We got screwed again out of another title. But that won't be the case come July 3rd. The God Squad's first War Games. I think we're bringing home some gold. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up, dog. I know, I, mean, I know that we're all supposed to be a team here, but sounds like to me you're trying to go into business for yourself. Let me tell you, wait a moment, before you say anything else. You a damn fool if you think me and Slim J are going to go in there and lay down and let you walk away with the title. I didn't say that at all. I've stated once before that this has gone from a holy war to a territory war, and now the stakes are this much higher. One thing's clear. I got your back as long as you know where me and Slim J stand when it comes to those tag team titles. Like I told you in the ring, it's right down the middle. Wild side, we respect you, you respect us. We get them, show us respect. Y'all get them, we show y'all respect. And another thing, you don't need any of this to get ready for that. You know what? I'm going to let that slide because I got something to say. Now that we got all the BS out the way, Rain Man, Avril, Todd Sexton, and Masada. War Games, the biggest and baddest that Wildside has to offer. I got my game face on. Slim's got his game face on. We are all united, and we know when it comes down to it, we will all be boys together. Whether we have the tag titles or they look up and get the tag titles, we're still going to be united, but you, will be left laying on your backs, wondering why you just got served. You got anything to say about that, Slim J? Yeah, just one thing. War Games Freedom Fight 2004! It's gonna be the ultimate act of contrition for not just the altar boy, but for Gabriel and Murder One and Slim J. Take a good look at my army of two. They have prepared themselves in ways you could never imagine. They're no longer even human. They may have human bodies, but they've evolved one step above you stinking human trash. They have complete self-awareness. Jeff, what the hell is going on? Do we have big targets on us or something? We've already taken out in one and Slim. We've already taken out the God Squad. And now we're in a cage with our belts on the line. Look, look. And now we gotta worry about you guys no, too. No, 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 
much not like that at all. Let me explain to you why this is so great. The belts being up means their team. Gabriel and Alter Boy Luke, they want the tag belts. Murder One and Slim J, they want the tag belts. They're not even a team. We're a team. Remember this. I came to you guys and asked for your help and said, together, we could get rid of all our enemies, right? As great as those belts would be with them, that's not my concern. My concern is the extermination, the total elimination of those four guys. We've got them in a cage, war games, no rules. We can bring anything we want. We can do anything we want. They, all they're concerned about is wrestling and winning those belts. They have no idea of what we're going to do. And guys, I've got a plan. We're going to have tricks and toys, and we're going to have everything on the sun. I promise you. We will eliminate those four guys. Don't worry about those belts. At the end of that match, those belts are going to be on the winning team. This team right here, they don't have a chance. And I'm telling you, we've got it. This is great. We're going to finish them all once and for all. You can trust me. We've got everything covered. we got a deal then. Yes. The extermination of Alter Boy Luke and Gabriel. Murder One and Slim J War Games. We finish all four of them once and for all. They're going to bleed. They're going to drown in blood. <laughs> you know what to do. Look at Masada. He's ready already. The Psycho Branch Davidian Masada. The Technician Todd Sexton. The Angel of Death Azrael. The Soul Assassin Raymond. This is an unbeatable team. And at War Games. At War Games.